Hi, Coach Tom Avery here along with fellow pro Walt Lewis. Today we're going to be talking about recovery after matches or workouts, so stay tuned. Okay, today's video is on the subject of recovery. You know, after you play a tough match or a tough workout, you want to really treat your muscles the right way. And Walt here today is going to show us exactly a routine that you can do that will prevent you from feeling stiff and it will also prevent injury. So Walt, what kind of routine do you typically do? Well, Tom, um, after I play a match or after a workout, typically I use uh, rollers and some stretch bands and a roller bar. Those are the two things, three yeah. things actually that I use. And it really doesn't take that long. It's yeah. more a matter of you need to be consistent with it. If, you, if I skip it, I typically feel the negative impact the right. next, the next so, day. So how long would it, does it take? Uh, literally, I can, I can do it in 10, 15 minutes afterwards. 10, 15 yeah, minutes. So not that's a big not deal. bad. No. And the benefits you'll reap, oh, I'm night, sure. Oh. Night and day. Night and day. Night and day. Okay, so this is an excellent routine. 10 minutes, 15 minutes, it's really going to pay off for you. Okay. All right. All right, well. So well, I'll show you. Uh, there's there's different types of rollers. They're based the the um, stiffness level of the roller, the foam roller, is based on the color. And so I know Tom has a a, a smaller version. It's a, a black roller, and this is the probably the firmest version. I typically use one that's yellow, and it's a medium firmness. So you need to find. And these I'm are feeling Walt. I may <laughs> use that one. Yeah. You know. Yeah, these are available. Uh, this one happens to be a Nordic Track yeah. version, but they're available at Walmart, Target, Kmart, pretty much anywhere. Very inexpensive. Um, different sizes, obviously. I use this to to work out top and back of the legs, and um, including the calf muscles. Yeah. So. All right. Let me show you a All couple right. things that so I do. What I start with typically is I'm working out the the back of the leg, typically the hamstring mm -hmm. area. And what I do is you, you get your weight off the ground a little bit and you're putting it on the back of the leg and the roller. And you just slowly roll it back and forth. And you'll find some areas every now and then where it's a little tighter. Right. And just spend a little bit more time right. sort of leaning on that area. Um, so I would go back and forth on this a number of times. And, you know, one leg at a time, typically. Yeah. So it's like a self-massage. It's exactly what it is. It yeah. mimics a massage. Uh, I know on the senior tour tournaments, uh, there's a masseuse available. A lot of the ATP pros, of course, they have masseuses available. But this this is something you can do at home, obviously. Yeah, and, and save a little money. Exactly. And uh, yeah. um, it, it not only um, it brings more blood flow, I think, into the area and, and gets rid of the lactic acid. Lactic acid. Yep. So I would do this for a while and then I would switch, come down to the calf muscle. And Walt, after you do this routine, do you typically, you know, drink a lot of water? Well, I, I try to do that anyway. anyway right, right. Yeah. But uh, I think, you know, again, this, the sooner you can get to this after the match, probably the better. The better. Uh, but so I would do the calf muscle next, all the way down to the Achilles. Do that a number of times, back and forth, all the way up to the back of the knee, mm -hmm. and then I'll turn and I'll catch the side of the calf muscle. Yeah, that muscle can get tender. Right. Yeah. And then they also switch it around to the inside of the of the calf area. Yeah. Work that out, and as I said, you do it with both both legs, and then typically I would try to get the top. This is an area that I've had some issues with the uh, thigh area. It's an area that you know can get pulled pretty easily in tennis. So I work that out. Again, just back and forth. You're trying yeah, to put some weight on it. Yeah. 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 And also again, just trying to catch it from, right, from the side. Well, the reason I mentioned water is because I know once you roll and you're loosening up that lactic acid, when you drink water, you know, you're going to be able to flush, flush it, it out. out. It makes you good know? sense. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 So I would work both of those, both you know, legs, both legs, routine. top and bottom, same routine. Yep. Um, six, eight, ten minutes, something like that is, is really all you need on it, I think. Right. Uh, and as I mentioned before, it's I feel totally different right. in terms of how much more relaxed the legs are, more energy in the legs the next less day. Soreness, oh, right? absolutely. Less soreness, yeah. even after a, a tough match or a, or a, a long workout. Right. So. Okay, awesome. 
Nice. Okay, Walt, so this is the next thing you'd go to a rolling bar. Correct. Yeah. Yep, this is a, uh, it's, it's got a number of different shapes and angles to it, and uh, again, easily available around town at Walmart, Kmart, and so forth. But uh, I would work out some of the same areas just because the, the shapes on here are a little different from the actual foam roller. So again, a little back and forth, and also it's a little easier to get the inside of the leg, um, the groin area, and then also, again, the hamstring in the back. So I would work this out for a few minutes. Okay, and behind the calf as well. Both sides of the calf. And then typically what I, I do with this is also uh, for my, the arch of the foot. And you can literally, you know, just roll it. Yeah. Not, not putting your full weight, of course, on it, Tom, but, uh, you know, back and forth. Mm -hmm. Get, get some blood flow in there, exactly. Sure. All right, okay. And again, um, same thing on, on both, both feet. Both sides, yep. everything, yep. yeah. Yep. And then last routine. The last thing I do, Tom, is these stretch bands. And again, there's different um, thickness levels. This one's a medium. Again, it's based on the color. And um, I would loop it over the foot. And I'm trying to prevent plantar fasciitis is really what this is all about. Mm -hmm. um, as we get older, the, oh, the Achilles yeah. tends to stiffen up and all the tendons underneath. So mm -hmm. typically, uh, I would push forward on it, giving some resistance with the band. And then pull back and with that's the band. Also very good for the Achilles. Oh, absolutely! I can feel yeah. it right now. It's yeah. definitely stretching the Achilles and the entire calf muscle, which is really what impacts the, the plantar. Yeah. Is that you? In fact, friends who've had that issue, they have to wear a boot at night that puts their foot into an artificial version of this. Yeah. So yeah. this really allows you to get one step ahead of the whole mm -hmm. issue. And uh, so far. <laughs> You know, knock on wood, I've not had an issue with it, but I know it's a difficult one to deal with. So again, back and forth, about 15 to 20 repetitions of this pushing forward on the band and then pulling back with the band to get the stretch and hold the stretch for just a few seconds and then back again. Mm -hmm. And then I repeat that with the, with the left foot. Excellent. Yeah. Wow. 10 to 15 minutes, really going to pay off. Absolutely. And uh, I think your your idea also about the drinking the fluids afterwards yeah, to flush things out. Yeah, it's always a good thing yep. to flush it out because, you know, even when you go and get a massage, they always tell you, drink lots of water. Absolutely. Right? And I've seen the senior players, they'll do maybe a 15, 20-minute massage at most. Yeah. But again, you know, it's, it gets costly, and yeah. it's not something that's always available. Yeah. Uh, and so this this mimics that oh, at yeah. home. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome routine. Though. Well, we hope you enjoyed that video. Use that routine. It's really going to pay off. And if you like this video, please hit the like button, share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel. And if you want my free courses, check the link over here or in the description box. I have a course on the forehand, the backhand, and the serve. So, Walt, once again, thank you very much, man. My pleasure. Awesome job. Awesome routine. It's going to pay off. Great. Appreciate it, man. All right. Okay. All right. Take care.